At the beginning of this story, we see Gar who walks around with his daughter in his hands. He constantly prays to the deity he believes in, that how can he save his daughter, but his prayers have no effect and his daughter dies of hunger and thirst. He is lying disappointed in the middle of the same sand. Then he hears some sound, and while listening to it, he goes towards the forest. There he sees a pond of water. He quenches his thirst by jumping in it. When he comes out of the pond, his hand is cut off by a sword that has fallen there. But his wound soon heals. At the same distance, some fruits are visible from them, it falls on them. After some time there comes the god of light, whom Gar worships. Gor says that he is his last devotee, his earth has dried up and all the living beings have come to an end, but even now he considers him as his god. And he hopes that he will definitely fulfill his wish. The god of light laughs at this and says that he has just finished the holder of the Megnasak, who had come to kill him and put an end to his empire. But why would he fulfill the wish of an insignificant creature like him? But Gar tells him that his empire has already come to an end as there is no one left to worship him. But that deity was not worried about it. Because he hoped that many more like him would come. Gar tells him how much pain he had endured, his daughter died. Still, he kept on worshipping her with the hope that he would one day fulfill her wish. The deity tells him that sacrificing for him is the fortune of a devotee, and that is his destiny too. Gar has faith in him after hearing all this and tells him that he is not a deity. And he hugs his neck. He takes off the amulet he is wearing and throws it away. Due to this the god of light gets angry, and he is about to pick him up and kill him, only then the nicrosword lying there comes in the hands of Gar. And his power also comes in him. And he kills that deity with that sword. And he swears that from today onwards he will not leave any god alive. In the next scene, we see 4.1 who is meditating sitting under a tree. The same core is telling some people the stories of Thor, how he has been fighting since childhood for those who cannot fight themselves. And how he met Jam Foster. But soon they parted his parents, brothers, and everyone who loved him were either separated or killed but he did not stop fighting for others. He fought many battles by teaming up with the Guardian of Galaxy, but still he could not overcome his loneliness. And whenever someone told him so much that he needed him, he would be ready. Just then there comes Coil to Thor, who tells him to walk into a fight. Thor immediately reaches a planet from there, where the Guardians are already fighting a force. There the king comes and welcomes Thor and says that those people used to live here peacefully for years. Then their gods were killed. And the robbers also capture their temple. Thor promises to get them back to their temple. And he starts fighting with all those robbers. After a short fight, he defeats them by killing them. But in this, their temple also breaks down to I in the next scene, we see Jam Foster, who has been diagnosed with fourth-stage cancer and there is very little chance of his survival. Then one day he sees a book of Vikings, which reminds him of the Neoner and the Hedgeguard. Next, we see the Valkini, who is the head of the Hedgeguard who settled on Earth. In Hedgeguard, we see the play of Thor, or Loki, going on. Where in this time's play, Thor's sister Hela is also shown. Thor's broken hammer is also kept there, which people used to come to see. Jam also reaches there to see her. But when she goes near them, those pieces start moving. And electricity starts coming out of them. Here the king of that planet is pleased with Thor and presents him two goats. And after that they all come in their ship. Then they get many messages. People from many planets are calling him for help. Because there is someone who is killing their gods. Her friend Sim also calls her for help. Thor immediately asks to steer the ship. But someone tells him that it would be better to go separate. Because there are too many people asking for help. After this Quill leaves alone to help the people. Thor and Kor also reach Schiff from there via Strombaker. There he sees that Felica, 
the god of Felicrian, has been killed by someone, Thor also reaches there and starts fighting them all. Then Thor sees his hammer there, which someone was using. He does not understand who is using his hammer. Just then he sees Lady Thor, who is using his hammer. But when he goes to meet her, he is completely surprised. She was his ex-girlfriend Jean. Here we are shown a flashback of how they were together. Once Thor asks Jean to always protect him, that's when his hammer moves. But both of them separated after a few days due to work. Now the story comes back to the present. Where again they both start fighting those demons. Only then Thor sees Gar there. He immediately moves towards her, then a fight starts between them. Thor sees that he has the Nykra sword. And he wants to snatch his strong baker from him, Thor picks it up and throws it away. Gar runs away seeing them all together. But he kidnaps the children there and takes them away. Jean and Thor try to capture him, but they do not succeed. The next day everyone is upset whose children go missing. Dalkini reports them all. Thor assures them all that he will get their children back soon. And then Thor talks to Valkini and Jean about Gar. Valkini tells that Gar creates demons from his shadows. And he also has Nykrasword. Jean asks about that Nykrasword. Thor tells her that it is an ancient sword that has the power to kill the gods. The sword has changed hands over time. Whoever has that sword in his hand slowly kills him by making him evil. Then there comes the shadow of Hemdiel's son Estreet. Thor uses the magic of his eyes to reach them. Thor tells all the children that soon he will come there with his team and rescue them from there. Thor tells Jean that Gar has kept those children in the part of space where only dark shadow reigns. After this, he sets out to seek help from the gods with a ship. And they all reach the palace of the deities where many gods come. They all change their disguise and reach there. He starts addressing his court. Then Thor starts saying something to them. Thor arrives in the middle of the stage. He tells him all about Gaur and asks Jus for his weapon Thunderbolt to kill Guarantee. Jus gets angry on this and he imprisons him. He says that Gur has Nykrasword, he can kill him. That's why he doesn't want to go and fight with her. Those people are safe here, so he doesn't want to help them. Juz tells everyone that they have nothing to worry about. Gaur can never reach eternity. Eternity is the most powerful creature in the universe. And every wish of the one who reaches it first is fulfilled. If Gaur reaches there, he can destroy everyone in one stroke. Juz asks Thor and his companions to imprison him. Because due to his departure, Gaur can also come there and then all the gods there can be in danger. But Valkini and Jean start attacking them. Thor also breaks his chain and starts fighting with them. Then Joes attacks the core with his thunderbolt, causing the core to disintegrate and pile up. Seeing all this, Thor gets angry and when Joes attacks him, he grabs his thunderbolt and throws it hard towards him. Which leads to his death. Thor sees that Kor's head is still alive. He picks it up and calls his ship inside. Valkini goes upstairs and takes Thunderbolt. And then everyone leaves from there. And then they all start going towards the planet of Guarantee. Thor tells Jean that he still loves her. Jean says that she has cancer and she is dying. Thor is very sad to hear this. He says that however many days you live, live well. He will always support her. Jean tells her that before she dies, she wants to save the children and bring them back. After some time they all reached that Gaur's planet. It was all dark there. Those children also disappear from there. Jean sees some posters there. In which the path of reaching infinity is shown through Strombaker. She understands that Gur wants to get the Strombaker. Comes there. That's why she immediately picks him up from there and throws him somewhere far away. Then there comes Gaur. Jean attacks him. But he captures them all with his power. And asks Thor to give the Strombaker and he starts killing Jean or Valkini. Thor now had no way out. He calls Strombaker. 
due to which there is a strong lightning strike all around. After this, Gyar starts creating his own creature and starts fighting with Thor. Jean and Valkini fight his creatures. And there comes a time when Gyar injures Valkini by hitting him with a thunderbolt. Jean asks her to get him out of there immediately. Thor stops Gaur and asks him to take him home by Strombaker. Immediately after this the Vibrost opens. And Gaur manages to snatch the Strombaker. And here all three of them come back to Earth. Jean's condition starts to deteriorate as his cancer takes over him. He is admitted to the hospital. Thor now forbids him to lift the hammer. Because every time she lifts it, her body becomes weak. She kept on losing to cancer. Thor leaves from there asking him to come back soon. Even Valkini could not accompany him as she too was injured. Here Gaur had reached the door of eternity with those children. And he tries to open the door with the help of Strombaker. Only then the children are going to be suppressed due to the fall of a statue there. But then Thor comes there and starts creating his own creature. Thor puts his power in those children. They all start fighting and moving forward. Thor starts fighting Gaur. But he feels weak. There Jean also feels restless in the hospital. She looks at her hammer. Here Guer is about to kill Thor. That's when Jean comes there sitting on Valkini's horse. And saves him. Although Thor is very sad to see her. Because she knew that she would no longer be able to survive. Jean stops Gaur by going. And Thor tries to remove the Strombaker. And he removes it and asks all the children to take them home through a street. And Thor is fighting Gaur. Just then, Jean cuts his sword in two parts with her hammer. And then she kills him completely. Jean was very injured. The door of eternity has also been opened. Gaur slowly reaches him too. He is about to ask eternity for a boon for himself. Thor then explains to him and reminds him of his daughter. He asks if he doesn't want him to get his daughter back. Thor speaks of this and comes to Jean, who encourages him to live freely. Gaur says that he is going to die and if he dies then who will take care of his daughter? Jean tells her that Thor will take care of her. And Gaur asks Eternity to get his daughter back. And dies in the lap of his daughter. After this we see all the children meeting their parents. Valkini is training them all to fight. Thor also finds a purpose to live and starts taking care of Gaur's daughter. Gaur's daughter also has powers. And they both fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. In the end we see that Chuz was not dead, he was alive. He says that earlier people were afraid of him, used to beg for mercy. But now no one asks him. People want to see superheroes in the sky. But they will feel the fear again when Thor falls from the sky. And he orders his son Hercules to do so. And here the film ends.